Well, howdy, backpackers. Dave, aka Fireball, coming at you with another edition of Off Grid. I'm into backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. And uh, this is kind of like part two of a first look and unboxing series here from Fire Maple Gear. Um, I want to get the disclaimers right out of the way real quick. I did end up reaching out to Fire Maple to say, hey, you got a couple of cool products that I'd like to test out. Would you be willing to give me a couple? to check out and they were gracious enough and willing and maybe crazy enough to provide those products for me to test out. Um, but all jokes aside, uh, thank you very much for providing these products for me to test out. Um, I did one already and I shot a video real quick on the Orange Lantern, the newer model of that. That's going to be coming out first on the channel. So this is going to be the follow up to that. And I'm going to do a couple more products here. Uh, the first of which is the much acclaimed um, petrol pot here, their UL pot with the uh, flux ring on it. And then we're also going to be doing a first look and an unboxing of their Green Peak stove here. So um, you can actually get this as a combo. I think that's one of the reasons why they kind of package this up because um, they're, they're running a sale as of right now, but even without the sale, it's really not that expensive. So let me get uh, all the other good stuff out of the way, right? You got the tech specs, you got the materials um, and the pros and cons, why I ended up um, you know, looking for these and trying to pick these up. And then um, at the end here, I'm gonna do a quick time trial to uh, see how it performs. Uh, be on the lookout on the channel as well for um, a comparison in the future. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, put this head to head with my jet boil stash and see how it fares there. And I think it's, it's gonna be a worthwhile contender. Um, but for today, we're just gonna be doing a quick first sneak peek and unboxing of this and kind of showing you what it's all about. Um, let me get into the price point real quick. If you were to buy both of these together, a really good set in order for you to kind of pick up, especially if you're new into backpacking. Um, normal MSRP is only around a little bit under $53. Um, if they're running a sale, I'm seeing a sale right now and it's a little bit under $44 for both of these together, which is kind of crazy. If you're picking up like a jet boil system, it's gonna be like 150 bucks or somewhere around there, over $100. And if you were to kind of like piecemeal it, like maybe you were to go with like a Soto Windmaster and um, a Tox pot, something like that, that's still going to run you um, north of somewhere around like 80 something dollars, right? Maybe 70, 80 bucks. So this is somewhere around like half the price of that, which I think is pretty incredible. And um, you're going to see with the specs here that um, it's probably comparable in a lot of other areas as well. But let's just do an unboxing real quick here on camera in real time to show you what we're looking at. Let's go with the pot first. That's cool, it has a, a carrying case as well, nothing else in here. Try not to knock stuff over. A, a huge uh, carrying mesh here that has plenty of space for you to, to dump this in here and cinch it down. You could even probably throw, I mean, you definitely could fit the stove into the pot as well, but this is a, a cool little addition that I wasn't expecting. So a, a cinch down little mesh um, carrying uh, case that it comes with to add a little bit more protection if you want to use that for your pot. And uh, here it is. Um, we got a little bit of extra protection around the handle there. So let's grab that off. And that's it right there. So um, it's got a nifty little lid right here that is kind of loose. It doesn't uh, you know, snap into place there. Um, really cool that it also has the, the, grade, the gradients, I guess you call it, the little notches on the inside to, to show you. This is a, a 600 milliliter pot, I believe. So a really good size, definitely more a little bit more than a couple of cups of water that you can fit in here. Um, really good for one person, but you could probably also bring it for a two person trip. Um, and, you know, a little bit more cylindrical, a little bit taller, right, than the, the smaller and wider Jet Boil series there. And one of the unique features that a lot of people are mentioning are these feet right here that um, splay out to, I forget, I think it's about 120 degrees, something like that. And it fits most uh, stoves that have that tri-flex or like the three different feet that kind of fit into these little groove systems here. And what that does is it puts the flame a little bit closer to the bottom of the pot there um, to increase fuel efficiency and then decrease um, that wind um, that can kind of come in and mess with the flame. The other thing about the lid here too is that it has a little strainer holes right in there if you've got something that you wanna strain for pastas or, or whatnot. Really dig this handle design here. 
and uh, flips closed and locks it so that you know your lid doesn't go flying off there so um, similar design in that like pinch um, design that I have with my my jet boil series of pop as well um, so that's really cool all right let's do the unboxing of the green peak stove now and see what we got here for We'll do this first and then we'll dive into the, the tech specs of the other ones. So that one, the pot didn't come with instructions. This one does, probably more important uh, with it. But this one also comes with a carrying case, so that's pretty cool. I personally don't usually use them, but if you're a fan of uh, stuff sacks or um, you know keeping them a little bit more um, protected, and then that definitely helps out. Um, so here's the overall design of it. it. has a little piezo igniter down here, which I'll show you when I fire it up. And then the arms here just kind of swing up. Um, I don't see a way to adjust those. So over time, if those loosen, that might be a potential issue. But again, you know, as I had imagined, fits right in underneath your pot right there. So that it also makes it more sturdy, right? So that it doesn't easily slide off. So really cool, um, comes with a piezo igniter, it says that it weighs about three ounces, but I'll get into that with the tech specs and all the other good stuff with it. So, all right, unboxing out of the way, let's get into the tech specs right now. So for the pot here, um, we've got again, 600 milliliter in overall size. They say that it weighs, I think 5.7 ounces. I got my kitchen scale here. So let's do that in real time as well. Now this is, there's nothing else. I'm not gonna do the, the bag with it. So just the pot and the lid. Um, they're saying 5.7, I've got 5.85, so a shade over, but still under six ounces. Still a really good weight on that one. And then let me get the other specs out of the way before throwing the, uh, the stove on the scale here. Um, the construction, I think it's made out of aluminum. And uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it, right? Um, I told you it has the lines on the inside there. It's got the flux ring on the bottom, aluminum. This is just like a hard plastic for the lid. Um, and then a little rubber piece so that you don't burn your fingers, um, which could be an issue with like the Tokes pots or anything that has a metal piece there. Uh, but that's about it for that. Over to the Green Peak stove here. They are saying that it weighs, I think like 85 grams or three ounces. So let's zero it out here. Uh, it's got this metal piece on it. So it's metal tag. Not sure if I'm able to, there you go. Rip that sucker off, every gram counts, right? So let's throw this on the scale. And on my scale, it weighs 2.95 ounces. So they're, they're right on on that one, bang on, on on the weight on this guy here, actually a little bit under the weight on that one. So that is really cool. Um, this is made out of a stainless steel construction and then the power or the output is 2,800 watts, which equates to, on the box here they have it, uh, 9,554 BTUs. If you're super nerdy with tech specs like I am, that's the equivalent of about um, a little bit under the Soto Windmaster. So it's, I forget what the Amicus is, but I would imagine it's either in line with the Amicus as far as the output or the heat and the amount of heat that it can output, um, but definitely a little bit under the Soto Windmaster. So um, that is that. Again, it's got the piezo igniter on there, so that's really cool. And that's pretty much it for the tech specs. Now let's get into um, the pros and cons, just at like a first glance here. Let's get the pot back over here and kind of show you that. For the pros, obviously flux ring, right? And one of the main reasons why I decided to, to try and get my hands on this because this thing reduces your overall boil times. It helps you save fuel and that is an excellent feature. Um, the other pros here is that it's under six ounces. My jet boil, and I'm gonna talk about this when I compare the two pots, is a little bit lighter than this, but this is still in that weight class. And the uh, size or the capacity of this I really like as well. So you don't really need like 700 plus milliliters if you're a solo backpacker. And like I had mentioned, even at 600 milliliters, you can even take you know two people out with this, but it's a really good size for one person as well. I actually really, I think this is like the sweet spot for me. I don't really like to take anything smaller than this pot myself. And another pro that we got here is that I love this handle design. So that uh, pinch handle design. 
I love that like pinch and lock design right there. So it locks into place so it's not going anywhere. And it's also wrapped as well. Super bonus on that too. So you never have to worry about burning your hands either on the handle or on this lid here because they're both wrapped. Um, uh, and like this is a plastic piece and this is just wrapped in like a rubber piece, right? Um, so that is excellent too. It gives you that like sturdy feel. Um, and then, you know, the, the feet here too, I think it's kind of like a pro and a con, I think. It could be a con in that because the flame is closer, it could scorch the bottom of the pot here. So that might be a potential con. But um, the uh, the pro, again, is that it gives you greater wind protection, right? So that's all, that's all good stuff. All right, over to the cons of this pot here. There's not a lot that I can say about it. And just trying to use the handle, it sticks a little bit, but I think that's just kind of like a learning curve. Um, it's not like a smooth surface, but I'm not really worried about that. One thing I am worried about as far as like a time trial goes on this is going to be because this is a little bit taller rather than wider and flatter, if it's going to affect the times at all, but I'll, I'll check that out in the time trials. Um, but there's not really a lot to dislike about it. Great price point too. That was probably should have been thrown into the pros. Um, let's head over to the stove now real quick for the pros and cons. For the pros, I've got um, that it has a piezo igniter on it. Um, I think that's a really good feature. And um, the stove seems to be sitting a little bit lower than some of their other designs there. Some of the other designs, I was worried that the feet kind of came up a little bit too high, but it also has this protective lip right here to um, you know protect against those windier days right and then the other pro that I have is that it puts out a good enough amount of heat I think that again it's it's pretty competitive to the Soto series as far as like how much heat it can throw out over to the cons um, similar in size to the Windmaster there but it is a little bit more bulky right it's not gonna be a super compact stove um, the other thing that I wasn't able to find either is if it had a regulator on it. I'm not sure that it does. So um, I'll, I'll try to see if I can talk with my rep to see if this if this um, stove has one, but I wasn't able to find one on their site. So that's a potential con as far as like going to elevation and making sure that you can still, you know, uh, light this thing and make sure that it works really well. Um, but I think that's pretty much going to be it about that as well. You know, again, for a budget stove that throws off a lot of heat, this is going to be a pretty good contender. All right, over to the time trials. I did one here um, just in, in my place right here. I'm also gonna go out in the field and, and do another one out there. But um, in the one that I was able to do here, I did two cups of cold water uh, just from the tap and um, with the Green Peak stove, ripped it open and let it fly. <laughs> And I think I got around a minute and 45 seconds in order to get a boil, which I think is about on par with what I expected based off of the amount of BTUs and the amount of heat that this can throw out. So pretty good time, uh, pretty competitive. And what was more impressive was the amount of fuel that it used for this in-home test trial. It was only six grams of fuel. So that was actually even more excellent than the overall boil time. So that got me even closer to some of the lowest amount of fuel that I've been able to use in order to boil two cups of water. So very impressive there. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. Let me just tell you real quick why I decided to get this one. Actually, I really just wanted the pop. They were like, hey, would you mind you know checking out out the stove as well and uh, I gotta say that I'm also impressed with the stove here especially because they offer it as a combo deal on their sites um, I, I believe that it's a it's a really uh, great buy for for what it is so um, the reason why I wanted to pick this up was because I believe that we're in the day and age now where there are going to be a lot of competitors like kind of uh, taking that flux ring technology from uh, Jetboil, I was gonna say Z-Pack, from Jetboil and making it cheaper. So I think that is going to be um, something to look out for in the future um, for you know any other pot makers as well, but these guys are kind of exploding on the scene right now with their budget-friendly option here with the petrol. So um, that's why I decided to pick it up and mostly because I really didn't want to pick up the Jetboil stash, but they were kind of like the only UL option at the time. Um, and now that this one has come out, I kind of I wish that I got this one instead and kind of waited to, to pick up a pot like that. So that's gonna do it on this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching this first uh, very brief kind of glance into uh, Fire Maple's options here for the Green Peak stove and for their UL Petrol 
pot here. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're thinking about picking this one up, I definitely think it is a, a worthy look. I can't say for certain until I do some more testing on this one, whether or not I can give it 100% my stamp of approval, but just on the onset here and everything that I'm kind of seeing, um, it is definitely a worthy budget buy um, for um, some quick boil times when you're out in the backcountry cooking those meals. And you know, even if you need to simmer and bring a pan out with you, um, I think it's a, it's a it's a pretty good option. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you want to pick this one up? Are you interested in this one? I want to hear all about it, and uh, let's get that discussion started. But that's going to do it for me on this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you headed off grid, make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Fire Maple Products, y'all. Better watch out. They're coming to take the world by storm.